What is going on my fellow zombie slayers? It is Nelly B here and welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies video and in today's video we're going to be addressing the elephant in the room DLC 5. Cue the intro. You guys enjoy that I, I put a little bit just a little bit in the time a little bit of time into that um yeah hope you guys like that i'm gonna try and be doing more stuff like it anyways before i get into the massive hype train that is dlc5 i need to start out by saying yesterday i got some wisdom teeth pulled or i guess a few days ago now and yeah only some i need to go back next week to get the other two on the right side pulled <laughs> but with that being said, I'm still a little sore, so if I sound a bit off, then that's why. But anyways, DLC5 has been a meme in the zombies community since BO2, that's right, BO2, with some teasers showing up that unfortunately I could not find. Regardless of that, we have recently had some juicy information, or should I say teasers drop, that may lead to a possible DL DLC5, but from the looks of it, it seems to be more of an expansion pack than anything else. But for the sake of this video, I will only be referring to it as DLC5. This image right here, if true, says we are getting 8 new remastered maps. Not 1, not 2, but 8 with gobble gums integrated. That is insane. 8 new remastered maps, they could be anything. I think the obvious few though are all the maps that are a part of Revelations like Noct, Origins, Mob of the Dead, Varuk, Shang, and Kino. Obviously not Drock, that would be dumb, but then again the thought of 8 new remastered maps for BO3 is pretty dumb in itself. Now obviously none of this is confirmed, but if you want to see an in-depth video of all the leaked information we have received, then I will leave a link down in the description to Codename Pizza's video talking about it all. I'm not here to do that though. What I am here to do is treat this information as if it were real. Now obviously the community is still speculative on the whole DLC 5 with 8 remastered maps coming for BO3 in June. Now don't quote me on that, I don't know if it's coming in June, July, some will even say December, but everybody in their videos is trying to stay neutral as to not get anybody's hopes up. But despite that, I have seen some big YouTubers say on livestream that they believe DLC vibe is real, and with all the information and leaks provided. I'm going to announce right now that I wholeheartedly believe in DLC 5. Now like, this la now like the last video, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm only going to go over some speculations about DLC 5 and what the map pack may hold like I've done for previous DLC map packs. My first theory is about the remastered maps themselves. Now the maps that I believe we will see in DLC 5 map pack are... Origins, Mob of the Dead, Verrucked, Noct, Shang, Moon, Ascension, and Nuketown. Count them eight. That's that's eight maps. I still can't believe that. I know what you're probably thinking. The, <laughs> the maps at first were alright, but towards the end, it made no sense. Moon? Who the hell wants that garbage again? I only added Moon in because of one of the leaked informations, or I guess some of the leaked information we got, supported it, and the same for Ascension. Again, if you're not informed on all of that, then check out Pizza's video in the description. But I added Nuketown because we got a new loading screen in one of the zombies comic books. If you guys haven't read the comic books yet or aren't even informed, I suggest buying to support the company, but if you are not up for that and you want to be a greedy son of a bitch like myself, then go check out Milo's videos of him reading them and going over them. He really does a good job and I love those videos, probably one of the only videos of him I watch now. Sorry Milo, I love you, but... Yeah, anyways, I think a remastered Nuketown would look and feel great. However, I do hope they make it to where either Nuketown 2025 or Nuketown, the third iteration, just at my desk, the third iteration of Nuketown in the Call of Duty Black Ops series. I only say that because I like those maps a lot better, especially Nuketown 2025, simply because Black Ops 2 was and still is my favorite COD game of all time, even Zombies. Another thing I want to touch on is the implementation of Gobblegums on these maps. And if these are the maps being remastered, I don't know if having Perkaholic on Origins would be too game breaking. Actually, I, I know it would be. It'd, it'd be friggin' ridiculous. The Rainbow Perk Challenge would be useless. 
uh, well, not really. A live stream would be cool, you know, just to have fun, but whatever. And how would Perkaholic work on Knocked? Would they add perks to it? And if so, I don't think I can agree with them if they do that. Nocturne Totem is a simple map. It may be difficult, but it's simple. A lot of average zombie players have moved away from the mode in the game in general simply because it's gotten too complicated. I for one hope that they implement gobble gums in a way where it isn't game breaking, but it's also not useless. I know just that in itself is a lot to ask for, especially from something that hasn't even been confirmed by the devs themselves. And finally, I want nostalgia. More than anything else, I want something that brings back the days of BO2 or even Black Ops 1 in its prime. Something that brings back those memories of me and my uncle trying time and time again to build and upgrade the origin staffs or even complete the easter egg. I want something that brings me back to the days when I was loading up Mob of the Dead for the first time, scared shitless because of the hanging bodies, the ominous voices, and even the round changing music. Obviously, I wouldn't be scared anymore seeing as Mob of the Dead is literally my favorite map now, but I want to bring it back to the good old days of zombies. Let's face it, zombies has taken a hit. For a minute there, it felt like JC's channel. Is, is that a dead meme yet? Can I stop saying that? <laughs> but anyways, with the conclusion of Black Ops 3 Zombies and the much anticipated but disappointing release of Revelations, the zombies community can use a little revive. If you wanna get up. You need a little revive. All I'm saying is that if we get a DLC 5 or expansion pack as big as 8 remastered maps, I will be beyond excited. Zombies has done so much for me and many others. I know uploads haven't been consistent at all lately. The hype for DLC 5 and World War 2 have given me the inspiration and motivation to continue making these videos. I don't want this to be too emotional, but lately I have been feeling really depressed. Ever since Black Ops 2 was made backwards compatible with the Xbox One and YouTubers have started streaming Origins, Mob of the Dead, and even Transit, god damn it Transit, I'm brought back to the days of just playing zombies and wanting to make videos about it all, top 5, speculations, and even tutorials. I'm so excited for what Call of Duty in general has in store for us and I can't wait to see if DLC 5 is real. Anyways guys, that is going to be it for the video, if you did enjoy, make sure Make sure you leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for some more awesome zombies videos. And make sure to comment what you want to see if DLC 5 is real. Do you want to see new gobblegums? Do you want to see new characters? They're probably going to make the old the same characters. I don't know. But anyways, guys, that is going to be after the video. Peace.